Amen. It's so wonderful because, you know, most people actually go once to church every year. Hallelujah, Lord. But uh, tonight we are here uh, to witness and to share what happened on Christmas Day. Now, I shared last Sunday that Christmas uh, means the Mass of Christ. Amen. That's, that's what the word Christmas means. It means the Mass of Christ, which is the communion or the commemoration of what the Lord has done for us on the cross. So, uh, the word Christmas doesn't really mean the birth of Jesus Christ because Christmas is the mass of Christ, which is the communion. Hallelujah, Lord. But tonight we celebrate the, the birth of Jesus Christ, our Savior and our Lord. Amen? I want you to come with me to Matthew chapter 1 and we'll go straight to verse 18. Uh, he was born once and he is God. And uh, he was a baby then on Christmas, they call it. Hallelujah, Lord. But he was God from the beginning. The Bible says he is the Alpha and the Omega. So he was there right in the creation. He was uh, uh, the second person of the Godhead. Hallelujah, Lord. Uh, if you understand the doctrine of the Trinity. But to the Lord, Oh, no, uh, I, I believe that uh, it really makes a lot of sense to us when I share. Matthew chapter 1, verse 18, from the Molila Ma. Yeah. Safa peo no fana o mayo yesu keriso. Safa fautane lo na tinao maria ya yosefa. Ua iloa ua to o ia ile nga nga po ia. A o le ifa atasi ila ua. O le translation fa parangi fa mai. Mary became pregnant through the power of the Holy Spirit. So Mary became pregnant through the power of the Holy Spirit. So Jesus Christ was not a human being, although he was human uh, in his ministry here on earth. But I want, I, want to, I want to focus on being pregnant by the Holy Spirit. Mary became pregnant through the power of the Holy Spirit, and she gave birth to Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. So I want you to understand for the le fa le nganga ile mele o te tala no atle fa fine me mai na to ma li ya ile nganga pa io le tua na fa na uma ya Jesus Cristo. Amen. So ole me na tupu Jesus Christ is the result of the seed that Jesus put in the life of Mary. And as a result she gave birth to Jesus Christ our savior. Hallelujah, Lord. O Yesula, what an amazing product of the combination of the Holy Ghost and human beings. When the Holy Spirit came upon Mary, she was pregnant. The result of the pregnancy was Jesus Christ. Hallelujah, Lord. Elengata ya Maria na pito esiri na telele impact ayo le fano mayo le tamalea. I have appeared now for the Lalolangi. And uh, I was fascinated by uh, the little phrase that says, when the Holy Spirit came upon Mary, she was pregnant. And I'm thinking, Mary is not the only person that can be pregnant by the Holy Ghost. Come on, church. Spiritually. Hallelujah, Lord. Because I read the Bible and I found that there were so many people that were pregnant of the Holy Ghost and something amazing came about. So, from the conception, now, number nine in the Bible is a symbol of completeness of God. Some, number nine is a symbol of completeness of God. It's the symbol of finality. Number nine means God completed his creation and all of his promises. 
Number nine is a symbol of fruits of the Holy Spirit. And there are nine gifts of the Holy Spirit. Number nine is a member of, uh, it's, a, it's a number of patience. Number nine is a number of inspiration and perfection of ideas. Number nine is a completing of the divine will of God. So you have to understand that when the Holy Ghost came upon Mary, she was pregnant of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah, Lord. And, and then she was carrying this miracle for nine months. Was really the period of a lot of amazing things that happened. Hallelujah, Lord. Now, I want you to know something very interesting. Uh, on our way to church tonight, I, I, I said to Soy, I was amazed when I understand that Jesus, uh, in 33 years of his life, devoted 30 years of his life to looking after his family. And then he spent the last three years of his life in ministry, and then he was gone. Hallelujah, Lord. I was fascinated by it, and I'm thinking, when I read Josephus, who is the Jewish historian, Josephus said that Joseph, the father of Jesus, died young. So Mary was left alone to be looked after by Jesus. Now, Jesus was the eldest of the children. Hallelujah, Lord. But Jesus was the eldest. But Jesus spent 30 years of his life looking after his mother. And I'm very fascinated by that. I said, sorry, I'm fascinated by the, the God who came to save the world spent 30 years of his life at home looking after his family. Or his family and then only three years of his life was devoted to ministry. And yet he came to save the world. I thought he would have spent 30 years of his life in ministry and maybe only three years at home. So I, 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 want, I want to highlight this one because it, I, it's very significant. And there's a reason why. Hallelujah. One of the greatest blessings that there is when the Holy Ghost came upon Mary was to give birth to a son who was going to do everything and every possible thing that, that Jesus could do to look after his mother here on earth. There are many people who don't take this very seriously. But I want to say this. You cannot have a mother back and a, and a second chance if she's gone. Hallelujah, Lord. So I'm, I'm, not, I'm fascinated by it. I thought, man, Jesus came to save the world. I thought he would have spent all his life, at least 33 years of his life, looking at uh, doing ministry. But he didn't. He spent three years of his life public ministry and 30 years of his life looking after his mother. And you remember the last hour of his life when he was on the cross and John was underneath. And then the Lord Jesus said to John, John, take your mother. My mother Mary is now your mother. You must take your mother home and look after your mother. And of all the apostles, John was the only apostle that died naturally. He did not suffer martyrdom. Hallelujah, Lord. Or Apostolo Uma, Nafeoki Fama Tudo Uma Lako, except John. Now, there's a reason why John did not die as a martyr, because John was given the assignment to look after Jesus' mother. That's how important the mother to Jesus. Come on, Jets. You, you don't get it. Come on, Jets. See, this is, this is one of the most fascinating things. Is when you don't look after your parents' church. Come on, people. I know that Alicia Rafi. You must have some regrets, the things that you thought you could have done, but you did not do. Hallelujah, Lord. Now your mother is gone. Hallelujah, Lord. And you cannot do anymore. 
Hallelujah. And when Mary was break, impregnated by the Holy Ghost, hallelujah, Lord, she gave birth to the Son who actually complete, brought completeness to the family. Of all the things that, that Joseph, uh, when Joseph the father was gone and now there was no provider of the family, Jesus was the provider. There was no, now Joseph was gone, there's no protector of the family, but Jesus came and became the protector of the family. Of all the wonderful things that happens in the family, Jesus devoted 30 years of his life. If you look at the sacrifice that the parents have done, my goodness, you cannot measure. You cannot compare. Hallelujah, Lord. One of the dear mother that I know, Anna, is Anna here, had two jobs. Raising up the children. Are you here, Anna? Is Anna here? I know that she devoted her life looking after. Man, I tell you what. When the Holy Ghost come upon your life, and when you are pregnant of something, I don't know what, it could be a business, it could be anything. It could be a child. But if that pregnancy is a result of the endowment of the Holy Spirit upon your life, can you imagine the product of that pregnancy? You understand what I'm saying? Can you imagine when the Holy Ghost come upon yourself? Hallelujah, Lord. And when I say that, it also means that men can also be pregnant. Everybody can be pregnant. But for the sake of Christmas, Mary was the only one that was pregnant. Hallelujah, Lord. But it was a result of the Holy Ghost. And when the Holy Ghost came, she was pregnant. Hallelujah, Lord. And then when the baby was born, the baby was the baby of all the babies. Hallelujah, Lord. All because of the result of the pregnancy by the Holy Ghost. Can you imagine when the Holy Ghost come upon yourself and you become pregnant of something? If it is a business, it's going to be a very successful business. Hallelujah, Lord. If it's qualification, it's going to be a really good one. Hallelujah, Lord. Whatever you're trying to achieve in life, the Holy Ghost is available and when it comes upon your life, and when you are pregnant of something, hallelujah, Lord, that something will be absolutely amazing. Hallelujah, Lord. When Jesus was born, he was born not only that he was the everything to the family, hallelujah, Lord, but he also became everything for the world. And then the Catholic Church now made a doctrine called the doctrine of Mariology. You know why? Because when the, when the, when the Catholic Church looked at what Mary achieved in life, it was really the result of the work of the Holy Spirit in their life. Come on, Jesus. I tell you, if the Holy Spirit come upon you and you are pregnant of something, can you imagine that something will be absolutely something? Amen. Hallelujah, Lord. So the result of Mary's pregnancy, hallelujah, Lord, was the manifestations of all righteousness. Hallelujah, Lord. The, the product of this pregnancy was really the sacrificial life in every perfection of the word, hallelujah, Lord. The example of humility, the manifestation of grace and mercy, hallelujah, Lord. Uh, at the highest level, the Lamb of God, who became the propitiation, meaning paying the ransom for our freedom, and became the expiation, which is a removal of sin. The embodiment of our Creator, the manifestation of the perfection of God, the perfect shepherd, hallelujah, Lord, the provider, the healer, the restorer. Hallelujah, Lord. Jesus became everything in his, in his family. Culture full kausanga or no for ye sue, tosin on the tina. So I say, man, I'm now on tina, hallelujah, law. Eo ya ingo on tina, to the manatual fat by ponga lena, now why ye sue. What my Walesia wina, 
walese waina on fisaulo lo lo no china of yesu walese waina hallelujah lo fa mai lo tala yesu this is not my time al tala na yesu na fa e lo lo timing nei but in his heart he knew he knew the desire that was inside his mother hallelujah lo and because his mother was everything to him all of those that are that are, that have mothers that are alive now do everything possible man you must become the product of the holy ghost in your family hallelujah lord that if you were born in a family look after your parents and your mom mothers are amazing ah oh. mothers are absolutely amazing I love my mom. I wish that she was here. But she's gone. Hallelujah Lord. And I tell you, I tell you you should be the product of what the Holy Ghost has done in your life of your parents. Hallelujah Lord. And if you are that product, hallelujah Lord, then you should become everything to your family, not only to your parents but to the whole entire world. You will make your impact in your family. You will also make your impact in the world. That's what happened to this pregnancy. Hallelujah, Lord. That you must become the difference. Hallelujah, Lord. That you will make your impact in your family. You will make your impact in the world. 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 You will make ala ufa ko fa ya yesu alu e fa ya sio wi o fa ha ri ye wa ve ngai o o so ngam ko fa fingo yesu am ba yesu o o ko kan ko wo ele yo lo tai mi hallelujah lord ele ma la ma ye ka ka ba yo ya yo no so ele ma 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 hallelujah lord but being the elders and the product of the holy ghost doing in a life hallelujah lord what an amazing thing that happens hallelujah because jesus became everything to the to her In fact Jesus was was perfect was he was the perfect father would have been better than Joseph Hallelujah Lord So I want to I want you to come to Matthew chapter 1 Yeah na fa ta mo le na na fa upu fa mo le mo le I want you to have a look at what happened in the genealogy of Jesus Au le ngafa le Yesu o to fa ti e to e Au e la la mai le fe fe na I challenge you that if you are the product of what God has done in the lives of your parents you should become the difference you should be the difference in the family when all the others are black sheep you become the white one that whatever your parents needed you're there when your mom needs you you're there you become the difference in the family you become the x factor in the family hallelujah lord and you become the influencer to the rest of the world here's what happened hallelujah lord if i tell my ear ole tu si nga fo yesu kriso ole tali yo ta vita ole tali yo apro amo na fa na we apro amo isa ako na fa na fo isa ako ya kopo na fa na we ya kopo o yuta ma yo na o na uso na fa na we yuta fa resa masera ma ya ta mara na fa na we fa resa isa roma na fa na we isa roma arama na fa na we arama amina tapu na fa na we amina tapu na sona na fa na we na sona salimona na fa na we salimona po asa ma ya ava na fa na we po asa o peta ma ya ruta na fa na we o peta o yesi wa fanga la to le mena tupu Elena o Elena o Elena o Maria tangata na fa na na top na na impacted ele nganga pa io le tu. Hallelujah. Let's have a look at the genealogy of Jesus. Now first of all April and became pregnant of the impact of the Holy Spirit and as a result became the nation of Israel. Hallelujah. And then I want to focus on Solomon now Solomon Found uh, Solomon gave birth to Boaz, and the Bible tells me that Boaz married Rahab, and as a result, they had Obed. Now, I found my little man the tupu. 
Rahab was a prostitute, but even Rahab, the work of the Holy Ghost that came upon Rahab, now in, and then she, she became the most amazing woman, hallelujah, Lord. When the Holy Ghost came upon her life, hallelujah, Lord, she was pregnant of Boaz. Hallelujah, Lord. And then, and then just the same thing that happens with Ruth. Now, Ruth came from incestuous, incest, background. Hallelujah, Lord. But when the Holy Ghost came upon her life, she was completely changed. Now, listen. No matter where you come from, if you allow the Holy Ghost to come upon your life and impact your life, hallelujah, you could be pregnant of something absolutely amazing. Whatever that is, whether it's a job or it's a business or whatever, hallelujah, Lord, and when that happens in your life, it will be absolutely something. Now, in this case, hallelujah, Lord, Obed gave birth to Jesse and Jesse gave birth to David. The Bible tells me that Jesus Christ is the son of David. Now, in verse 1, Jesus Messiah, the son of David, hallelujah, Lord. And then the Holy Spirit worked in Rahab and Ruth, and they gave birth to miracles. But I tell you, the Bible tells me that the Holy Ghost found a virgin. Now, here's, here's what I, I mean. A virgin is somebody who has never been affected by the world. Hallelujah, Lord. But a virgin also is somebody who gives her or his life to the law. And when you give your life to the law, the day you receive Jesus Christ as your personal Savior, your past is no longer there. From the day you gave your life to the Lord, you became a, a new born again Christian. Hallelujah, Lord. From that day you became a virgin or you become a virgin. So Rahab, in, in, in spite of her life, hallelujah, Lord, the day she gave her life to the Lord was the day she was declared a virgin, hallelujah, Lord. And the virgin was founded by the Holy Ghost. And as a result, she gave birth to powers. If I were you, I will allow the Holy Ghost to come upon my life. Because the moment you allow the Holy Ghost to come upon your life, you could be pregnant of something. Hallelujah, Lord. The Holy Spirit impregnated 120 people up in the upper room and as a result came the New Testament church. Hallelujah, Lord. Christmas is the season that we must allow the Holy Ghost to come upon us and impregnate us. Allow the Holy Ghost to put a seed in our life. Hallelujah, Lord. Because the seed that the Holy Spirit will put in your life will bring freedom, deliverance, restoration, healing, and provision to you. So, I tell you, I tell you, you, you will experience something that you have never experienced before. The Holy Ghost right now is looking for more Marys to impregnate. Now, now, Mary can be a man or a woman. And the Holy Ghost right now is going looking for a Mary. And when he finds a Mary, he will impregnate you with something. And when he impregnates you with something, I tell you, that something will be absolutely something. If it's qualification, really good ones. If it's a profession, it's going to be a really good one. If it's a business, it's going to be a really good business. God is in the business of impregnating people, hallelujah, Lord, with something absolutely amazing 
ele ngata manuia ilo wa ingo ke ba ke ke oi a eto ile nganga pa ia ele ngaka manuia se be fanga o maia ke oi lo wo langa e manuia ilo wa inga ai fa pe nganga manuia ile la lo langi a koa hallelujah lo i fa fo a tolo wa inga they will be blessed jesus was born as a result of the work of the holy spirit in mary's life and i tell you mary received everything that she needed in life and what about us we have received everything that we need in life because of what the Holy Ghost did in the life of Mary. I want you to stand tonight. Church, I don't know about you, but I'm asking the Holy Ghost to come upon my own life and impregnate me with something else. If I were you, I would ask the Holy Ghost and say, Holy Ghost, I'm ready. I want to be called Mary. I want to be called Mary. I want my life to be called Mary. Because I tell you, Mary was waiting and willing. And when the Holy Ghost found her that she was willing and waiting, hallelujah, Lord, here's what happened. The Holy Ghost came upon her so powerfully and she was pregnant of the Lord Jesus. If I found my love, go. Every need she had was received and given to her. When her husband was gone, the protector was there. He is gone. The provision was there in the family. Healing was inside Mary's home. Restoration was in her home. Deliverance was also in her home. Niceness of life was in her home. I tell you, there's much, much more that the Holy Ghost can do in your life. If you allow yourself to be impregnated by the Holy Ghost. I want church, don't take this message lightly. Because I don't want to live in poverty and I don't want to live down here. I want to enjoy all the blessing that the Holy Ghost can give. Church, I want you to lift your hands to the Lord tonight. Christmas, it's not even the birth of Jesus. Because Christmas is the mass of Christ, which is a communion. But we call it the celebrations of what happened. But I like the Holy Ghost if he can come right now and put a seed in your heart. That when you come to the end of this year, which is next week, hallelujah, Lord, you're already harboring something inside. According to the Bible, nine months, Mary had to carry this baby inside her. And during that period, hallelujah, Lord, God was doing some wonders in her life. And after nine months, hallelujah, Lord, the divine miracle came out, hallelujah, Lord, and what a miracle. Because all the things that Mary needed in life was given to her because of what happened inside her. Church, if you want it, if you want the Holy Ghost to come upon your life powerfully and impregnate you with something, the Holy Ghost is looking for somebody. But if you don't want it, then that's fine. For me, I just pre needed it. Hallelujah, Lord. There's much more to have and to possess. There's a lot more that we can have. The sky is the limit. God is in the business of enlarging our lives. Hallelujah, Lord. Materially, spiritually, and in every sense of the word. Lift your hands to the Lord if you really want it. Hallelujah, Jesus. Koroshira mamara rasanda.